What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to the much awaited, the much anticipated Super Saf style camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the LG G5. This has probably been the most requested video on the channel recently, so a thumbs up for bringing it would be appreciated. So in the usual style, we'll be doing the front and rear facing camera test, and we'll also be looking at images as well as video too. Do also look out for the audio icon in the corner of the screen, and that will indicate to you which device the audio is coming from, and we'll be switching between these two to give you guys a better idea of the differences in audio as well. So we're currently in my car, but it's an absolutely great day outside, so we've got plenty of light. This is a change for Leicester. So we're gonna be heading outside, doing some rear facing camera tests, and then we'll go indoors and do some low light tests and things too. So uh, let's get straight to it. So now we're outdoors with both devices and we're filming at 4K. Although this uh, video is exported out at 1080p, it does mean we can crop in much further. So now let's take a bit of a walk to see what the stabilization is like. Now both of these are mounted to the same exact device. So this is as fair as it's going to get. So now we're indoors with the G5, just testing out the autofocus, going from something that's far to something that's near. Seems to be doing pretty well. Now, same lighting on the S7 and the dual pixel autofocus, I've said it before, it's just absolutely insane. Nothing else comes close. It's just awesome. Look at that, instant. So that was the images. Now, before moving on to the video, just to clarify that the automatic settings were used on both of these to make it as fair as possible. Front facing cameras, you've got eight megapixels on the G5. You've got five megapixels on the S7 and S7 Edge. On the rear facing cameras, you've got dual cameras on the G5. 16 megapixels is the primary camera but you also have an 8 megapixel wide angle, 135 degree camera. So I will be showing some examples from both. Although for most shots, I will be using the primary 16 megapixel camera. And when I do switch to the 8 megapixel camera, I will let you know, and that will be for specific situations. The S7 and S7 Edge have a single 12 megapixel rear facing camera. I am using the S7 Edge for this particular test. And if you like the skin that I've got on the S7 Edge here, then you can pick up this one as well as many more from dbrand who are the sponsor for this episode. They've got lots of skins for lots of different devices and I'm gonna be linking to them in the description below. So definitely do go ahead and check them out. Now let's start looking at the images. So firstly, we start with selfies because everybody likes taking selfies, I know. And here, the first thing you'll notice is that G5 actually flips the image around. Um, I'm not sure if you can change that. I didn't flip it around in post. I thought I'd just leave it as is off camera. I think both are doing great here. I do like the details a little bit better on the G5 and I also think it's got a bit more dynamic range. If you look towards the back, you can see the trees aren't as blown out compared to the S7, but the S7 does have a wider angle lens. So for your group selfies, that's definitely gonna help. Now, if we go in 100%, you can see that we can crop in much further here on the G5 because of that eight megapixel camera compared to the five megapixel camera on the S7. And you can see lots and lots of detail, a bit too much on the G5 here, but it's gonna come down to your personal preference. Now moving on to low light situations. So here you can see that both are doing okay. Although I do prefer the image of the S7. I think it's a little bit brighter overall and it's not as grainy the G5 image. Although the face looks a little bit brighter, it is definitely very, very grainy. Now, what about using the front facing flashes? These illuminate the front screens to give you some more light. And here, I definitely do think that G5 is doing very well. It's a much brighter the image overall. And although the S7 is doing okay, it's just not as bright as the G5. Now, moving on to some outdoor shots, we've got some ice cream here. You don't get much good weather here in the UK. So when you do, you need to get some ice cream. I think both images are doing very, very well here. Got lots of detail, a nice shallow depth of field here on both two. Slight differences in color, but nothing really major. A little bit warmer on the G5, I would say, a little bit cooler on the S7. Now let's go in 100% and here you can see that you can crop in further because of that 16 megapixel sensor. So we are using the primary camera right now on the G5 and it's doing a good job. The S7, you can't crop in as much, but uh, I do think it's a little bit sharper. I think it will come down to personal preference. I think both are doing a good job overall. Now moving on to an outdoor shot, once again with the primary camera, I think both are doing very good here. Once again, slight differences in color. The S7 is slightly wider, but that's not a problem because with the G5, you can switch to the wide angle lens. And boom, look at that. That is absolutely insane. You've got the sun, you've got a bit of the foreground, 
and you've got everything. I mean, uh, that wide angle lens is just insane for these landscapes. And if you are somebody who likes taking landscape shots a lot, then you are definitely gonna like this feature on the LG G5. Very, very impressive. Now moving on to an indoor shot in room lighting. I think the S7 is a brighter image, but it's a little bit on the yellow side. I think the colors are a little bit better on the G5. Now let's dip the light down even further. And here you can see that the S7 is definitely winning out here because of those larger pixels. It's got a 12 megapixel sensor, but the pixels are larger compared to the 16 megapixels on the G5. And if we go in 100%, you can see that the S7 is producing a much cleaner image with lots more detail. The G5, you're losing lots of detail and it's becoming very, very grainy. Now taking the test further, so going outdoors in low light, once again, the S7 winning out here with a much brighter image overall. And going in 100%, you can once again see that the details are much better maintained on the S7 compared to the G5. Now just quickly testing out the wide angle camera in low light of the G5. You can see here that although you do get a wider angle shot it's nowhere as good as the primary camera and that is because it is a secondary camera at the end of the day so it's not going to be doing as well in low light the aperture isn't as wide finally looking at an image using the flash i think both are doing okay here i think this will come down to your personal preference so there we have it, the epic super soft style camera comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the LG G5. I think both of these are exceptional and some of the best cameras out there. For the front facing camera, I think for detail, I would have to give the edge to the G5 because of the eight megapixels. But the S7 is better if you're somebody who takes a lot of group selfies. Now for video quality, I think both did really, really well. Although the S7 would get the edge because of that dual pixel autofocus, it was just a lot faster and it's the fastest I've seen on any smartphone right now. For outdoor images, I think both did really, really well, but one advantage you are gonna get with the G5 is that wide angle lens. So if you are somebody who likes uh, taking wide angle shots outdoors, then the G5 is really, really gonna help. But for low light, the S7 is the clear winner. You saw the results that the S7 gives you a much brighter, much cleaner image without as much grain as the G5. And that does come down to those larger pixels. That's what I think anyway. What do you think? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you wanna see images from lots of different devices, then be sure to give me a follow on Instagram. I am at TV. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe. I've got plenty more content coming up on here. And I've also got a giveaway running in partnership with Carphone Warehouse. And that's gonna be linked here in the annotation. So definitely do go ahead and enter. Thanks for watching. This is Safar on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time.